<laughs> on the road again. I'm going panning where I've never been. La 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 la. Oh, hello. Do you want to go gold panning with me? Let's go. <laughs> Woo! So here we are on the Cow Creek River. The water is definitely way higher than normal. We had a lot of rain in the last week or so, and we got to make do the best we can. We got the sluice box set up, and I think this thing's gonna freaking rock. Hopefully, it's not not too fast, but we got a we got a decent little V going on there. So uh, yeah, time to run some buckets. All right, so we came to just some random spot up Cow Creek. A lot of rocks. Looks like plenty of people have been here before, but we're just gonna kind of prospect around. I don't think I already found a, a spot that I wanna check out. So we'll go ahead and fill up a bucket here. So not in that water right there, that's just my, my bucket. We're gonna quarter inch classify it, but I'm looking at uh, all these, these big rocks right here, and then looking at some of the material behind the the rocks because the the water's flowing down this way all right so i'm gonna try to get some material basically right right up in there and we're gonna see how that goes so we're just gonna kind of start by moving some of these big rocks out of the way Couldn't have picked a better day for this. About Saturday, well, today's Sunday. It's gonna be about uh, 72 today. Not shabby. Yeah, and all this here is just blood gold, but you know what? I don't care if it's blood gold or source gold. As long as it's gold, and it goes in the, the snuffer bottle at the end of the day. Makes me a happy guy. So, hopefully we'll get some good color out of this. There's definitely gold up Cow Creek, but finding the good stuff, the big stuff, is hard because it's not legal to dredge here not legal to high bank or use any sort of motorized anything. So we just got to do the best we can. So you don't get a ticket or whatever. I have no idea what, the, what a fine would be for something like that, but it ain't going to be for me, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So we got a shot. Well, it's fairly easy. If we can. Okay. We'll take this right over here. So since we got really good water flow in the sluice box, borderline too fast, we're just gonna classify this down to a quarter of an inch. All right? Now I find it easy just to do it this way. Make sure all your rocks are cleaned off.
So unfortunately, Cow Creek is not like Alaska. You don't go find a pickers all the time because Cow Creek has been mined from one end to the other for a hundred plus years or more. But we take what we can get. Next shovel club. Okay, so here's our hole so far. All right, just starting. So a little baby hole. But before we get carried away, we got one five gallon bucket of quarter inch classified material. Yeah, that's about a five gallon bucket, maybe three quarters. And we're gonna go ahead and run through that through the sluice box and see what we get. And if we, uh, if we do get something decent, we'll keep working. Otherwise we'll move. All right, I got my workstation set up. I don't know about you young guys, but us older guys, I don't like to sit here and bend over. Cause it hurts my back. So I got luxury. <laughs> luxury. Oh yeah, we've got we got some nice flakes showing up in here already. Just in the first scoop pools. Oh, that's pretty great. I think we picked a good spot. Okay, so we just finished running one five gallon bucket and there is gold all over this thing. There was a really big flake that's kind of stuck right down in there. But if you can see, there is freaking gold all over this thing. All sorts of gold. I bet you, I now that I'm looking close, I bet you there's uh, 50, 60 flakes in there at least, maybe more. There's a one or two small ones down there, but almost everything is right up here. I think we found ourselves a good spot. So my goal is to do four more of those five gallon buckets, at least, and we'll keep track. So that was number one. Let's go get some more. All right, so this is bucket number four.
<laughs> Look at him. So here we go. It is the 24th of April. It has been nasty the last week or so, but today is a beautiful day. And Bobby the Magnificent has caught a hatchling, or what appears to be a hatchling wandering garter snake. This guy is scared out of his mind. He's just trying to do his thing though, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> there, we'll, we'll go ahead and pick him up and we'll put him into a, a safe spot. He's, man, he's all about biting, isn't he? Look at that. If I was him and, and he was as big as I am holding me, I would be scared out of my mind too. But uh, we'll take him up into the grass up here and let him go. That's probably a safer area. Probably a lot more food up there for him. Yeah, eat those ticks and little bugs. All right, buddy. Stay away from humans. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bye bye. And there before you is bucket number five. I don't know about you guys, but I am freaking tired. The gold is looking mucho good. Nice, healthy flakes in there. Let's see what the glass bucket gives us. So let's go back to the hole we started. Kind of show you the progress over here. Now that's kind of where I was classifying it right there, but you all remember what we started with. Well, that's what we ended with. We moved a few big boulders, that one there, uh, a few more over here, that one and that one there, but uh, Everything came right out of there. I'm hoping there's at least a 0 0.3 in there. That'd be nice, 0.3 or, or more. We'll see, I guess. So we're gonna go uh, clean it out. And then uh, I'm gonna pan it out at the house in the tub. That way we don't lose anything out here. All right, so you guys are not gonna wait for me <laughs> to get all this stuff cleaned up so with that being said time jump just like that we're back all right we're just gonna do uh panning out our little concentrates not a whole lot in there all right we got our uh panning station set up we got some jet dry in there and we're gonna pan it out and then we'll weigh it up
cleaned up and not too shabby. I mean, nice little piece there. There's some good pieces in there. And this is out of five, five gallon buckets. Not too shabby. All right, time to weigh it up, I guess. Well, here's our little station here. We already got the gold in the pan itself. Uh, we're gonna get rid of most of that water before we even start heating it up. Uh, we got our digital scale. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and get set up. So you suck out most of this water, I'll try. All right, now that we got the stuff dry, got our digital scale on, we'll go ahead and Zero that bad boy out. Boom. All righty. Well, there you have it. 0.19 for five five gallon buckets. Yeah, you can always do better, but you know what? <laughs> hey. That's better than nothing, right? Yeah, 0.19 ain't too shabby, as always. But when you add it to what you already got, which right there is a, a little over four grams right there. All right, let's, uh, let's see what the total comes up to here. We got 0.18 already. Let's see what we got here. Oh my Lord. Just a hair under five grams for the year so far. Now that is freaking cool. Well, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did today. You know what? We were outside the house. We we're on the river in the beautiful sun. It was like 72 degrees. Found a little bit of gold. And at the end of the day, it all adds up, right? And uh, once it's done, we just put it right back inside. Doo, 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 doo. And hopefully by the end of the summer, hopefully we'll have close to a half ounce. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment below and I'll answer it and we'll get back to you next time. Take care guys. Later.